My name is Lauren with Alliance for Positive Health, Food for Life, and today I'm going to show you how to cook and eat one of these. An artichoke. Let's get started. They might look intimidating, but cooking an artichoke is actually really simple and you only need a few things. You're going to want a sharp knife, a pair of kitchen scissors, a lemon, um, and some olive oil, and a big pot filled with just a few inches of water. Before getting started, you definitely want to run your artichoke under cold water just to make sure you get all the dirt and stuff off of there. Just some things to note about artichokes. This is a globe artichoke, which is mostly what you're going to find in your supermarket. It's smaller. There are larger artichokes that when cook before cooking them, you would have to cut them in half. But since this is a smaller globe artichoke, we don't have to do that. Also, there are several parts of the artichoke that are actually edible. You can almost eat the entire plant. The stem is edible, the base of the leaves, and the heart of the artichoke is edible. Most people prefer the heart of the artichoke because that is the most flavorful part of the artichoke. It's not as common to get a stem as long as this, so we're actually really lucky. And what I'm gonna do as part of the process is cut this stem and cook it right along with the whole artichoke, which I'm gonna show you. When you're looking to buy artichokes, you want to find one just like this. Notice how the leaves are tight in the center, and when you squeeze it, it almost kind of squeaks, and that's how you know that it's super fresh. So the first thing that we want to do before we get started is these kind of straggly leaves at the base. You just want to go ahead and just pull those off, because we do not want to eat those. These are gonna be kind of tough if you were to try to eat them. So you wanna go ahead and pull those away from the base. Leave those on there. The next thing you wanna do is what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut my lemon in half. We're gonna save half for the pot and we're gonna use the other half right now. So what you wanna do is you wanna go over your entire artichoke with the lemon. And what this does, because of the citric acid, is it prevents enzymatic browning because as soon as you cut into this artichoke, it starts to brown. And our next steps involve cutting into this artichoke. So I'm just being prepared and I'm covering the artichoke in some lemon juice so when I start to cut it, it doesn't brown. My next step is I'm going to cut the stem off, like so. And then I'm going to score right here. And by scoring, meaning I'm gonna put like a T right in the, the base of the stem there. And this helps the artichoke to cook evenly. And again, I'm gonna take my lemon and I'm just gonna run that over. The next step is you wanna take your kitchen scissors and basically you wanna cut about a quarter of each leaf. This top kind of thorny, almost sharp part of the leaf, that's what we're gonna cut off. So all you do is you just take your kitchen scissors and you just kind of snip it just like that. Oh, that went flying. And you just go around to each leaf, cutting each tip off. Okay and keep doing that until all the leaves are trimmed and then we're ready for our next step. Okay, once you have those parts of the leaves cut off, the next step is to cut off this tip with those tightly kind of pinched together leaves. You wanna cut that right off the top with your sharp knife. You could have done it before you did this part, but do whatever makes sense to you. So I'm just going to carefully cut off the top here. The next step is you wanna bring a few inches of water, some olive oil and half of that lemon to a boil in your large pot. Once your water is boiling, you wanna place the artichoke stem side down right into the pot, along with any stems you might have, which we did. And then you wanna bring, bring it from a boil to a simmer. So the difference between boiling water in simmering water is that with boiling water, the bubbles are breaking the surface. When it's simmering, the bubbles just get to the surface, but don't break. So basically you wanna turn that all the way down to low 
and put a cover on it. And then you want to leave this for about 40 to 45 minutes and then you're ready to eat an artichoke. So after our artichokes have steamed for about 40 to 45 minutes, this shouldn't have taken too long. It was about 40 minutes because it's a smaller artichoke. You're going to take it out using tongs. Just be very careful because obviously they're hot. Don't just reach your hand in there and grab it. Um, but you're going to cut it in half and then you'll see here the different parts of the artichoke. So right here, this kind of bristly, almost kind of thread-like section is the first thing that you're going to remove. And this is actually called the choke. And it gets its name, so you just want to use a spoon, and it gets its name because literally it is, it's very hard to swallow, it's bitter, and you can actually choke on it, which is why it's called the choke. So you just want to remove that from the artichoke. Like so, get that out of there. Some leaves came with that, that's okay. Okay, and then what it rests on is the heart, and that's what we were talking about with being the most delicate, flavorful part of the artichoke. It's what most people go after. But the first thing you start eating with the artichoke is the leaves. And like I said, you'll know they're done because they pull easily away from the artichoke and everything's really tender. So starting at the base of the artichoke, you just pull off a leaf. And then with your teeth, you basically just scrape the bottom part of the leaf where the artichoke meat is. And then you just keep moving right along to eat all the leaves until you get to that nice heart piece, which I'll show you what it looks like. So once you've made your way through all the leaves and you're left with the heart that was at the base, all you do is you simply just take a fork and a knife and you're able to cut into it and eat it. Pretty good. So I hope you had fun learning how to cook and eat an artichoke. If you felt like that was too much work just to get to the heart of the artichoke, which is the most coveted part, just keep in mind that you can just buy the artichoke hearts. You can buy them canned, frozen, and they go really great in salads, pastas, all sorts of recipes. And the thing about artichokes is that they're very low calorie, but very high in nutrients. A lot of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. You really wanna to try to get these in your diet if you can. Thanks for